Hey there, I'm Megan with Stick It Designs. First off, I just want to start with a big thank you for all of the response we've had to the first video in the Patriotic Design Tutorial Series. It's been so much fun receiving all the notifications of all you new YouTube subscribers out there and just an outpouring of Facebook messages. Make sure if you haven't subscribed yet, you go ahead and do that now. And then if you have any questions along the way throughout this tutorial, go ahead and comment below and leave me a message, give us a like, and we'll see you in the next video once it's posted. Okay, so in video two, we're going to be working on the plaid monogram. Our finished final design is going to look something very similar to this. And this is a pretty simple design to create. And I think that's why this silhouette cameo is so cool to work with. So I'm sure you could find a similar design to this one for purchase. But the Silhouette Studio is so simple to use. Why not just create it for yourself? And it's more fun that way. So let's jump over back to our work screen. I've already created my monogram. And as I mentioned in the first video, I often use the Monogram It app to create my monograms and very quickly the steps for that. You want to create it, save it to your photo album, email it to yourself. Once you open the image, download it, and then just click it, drag it, and drop it onto your work screen. Now this is a PDF file. It's not going to cut in your silhouette. So we want to come to the trace option, which I already have selected up here. It's the yellow square with a blue butterfly. Click on select your trace area. Highlight your monogram. Just to make sure we have some crisp lines on the edges, I want to bring my scale down to four. And threshold, we want to bring up to the full 50.9. Again, if you go up to 51, it's gonna start bleeding into your background and we don't need that highlighted. So 50.9 is the sweet spot. Come back over to your trace methods and click trace. And there we have our monogram to work with. So go ahead, get it sized. It doesn't have to be perfect to what you want for your final design. We can come back and work with that later. So to create the stripes in this design, I don't want to copy and paste here. I want to show you exactly how I got this image. So we're going to go into Google. I'll come back to my work screen. We're going to go into Google and we're going to find this image together. And I'm going to show you how to go ahead and download, save that, and drop it. So I typed in zigzag border and click on images. And just scroll through. Maybe you want something with more rounded lines. Um, it's totally up to what you want your final product to look like. But we're going to use this one. So let's right click on that image. And then click Save Image to Download. I'm using an apple so it comes down here to my toolbar at the bottom. You can click on my downloads. I'm just going to click on that image drag it over to my Silhouette Studio, and then drop it on the screen. Now, just the same as our monogram. This is a PDF file. Um, it's not going to cut, so we're going to use the same tool. It's already open for us because we use it on the monogram. We're going to trace this image. So select your trace area. Bring my scale down. I can try filling in my threshold, but you can see that my lines are not wanting to actually fill into this image. Don't panic, not a big deal. If we were to trace it just like the monogram, let me show you what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna pull away. It's gonna give me this hollow um, border. So if I wanted to fill this in with a color, just that edge is going to fill in it could actually cut on the outside and the inside of that image. So we don't want to use that option this time. Let's 
instead, when we come into trace, we want to just trace that outer edge. Let me show you. So now we just have that one image. And if we wanted to go ahead and fill it in with our red stripes, it's going to fill in the entire image. That helps us go ahead to see what the final result is going to look like. And whenever you go to send this to your silhouette to cut at the end, it's going to cut the outer edge also without having to go through any extra steps. So, All right, we have our first stripe. Now it's pretty simple. We're just going to right click, copy, right click, paste. Now we have our first two lines. Now, don't spend too much time trying to get this lined up. We're going to use the alignment tool again, just like we did in the first tutorial. But I want to go ahead and cover these last two stripes. Now, if I tried to right-click, copy, paste, and just stretch this line out, it's going to get a little bit distorted, and it loses the balance of the first two lines. So let's undo that. And I'm going to paste in an additional line. And I'm going to join these two together. I might want to zoom in just to make sure I'm getting them as perfectly aligned as I can. Okay, that's pretty close. And now we're going to use an option where we highlight both of these two lines and we're going to come to our Modify window. You can either come to Modify and select Weld or you can right click and in your drop down menu you should be able to come over here to a Weld button. So you can use either option, the right click or your Modify window. And When we select Weld, it's going to make this one full line. So now whenever your final image is sent to be cut, this is one piece. It's not going to make that cut that was initially there. It's made for you now. Bring it in, resize them just a little bit to make them similar in points. And we need one more full line, so we're going to copy, paste, Now, if you're looking at this thinking, oh, those are a little bit out of alignment, that's totally fine. Like I said, let's not worry about getting that spacing on our own. Instead, we're going to use our alignment tool. By selecting all four of our stripes, you can click, hold down your shift key, and then select each of your four lines. Even though the monogram is back there in this box, it's not actually highlighted, so it's not going to be included. We're going to come to our top toolbar and open the align window and then we're going to hit the um, space vertically. So now everything is perfectly spaced and it's bothering me over here that these lines are all at different ends. So I want to use my align right button and now they're all going to be perfectly edged over here on the side. And then these two should be perfectly edged as well as the top two should be matched because we copy and pasted from the originals. So it should all be the exact same size with these pairs. Okay, we are almost done, people. I told you this is a really simple design to work with and to create. So before we fill in some color here on our monogram, I want to show you an extra little step just in case you need it. Now, on this design, you see where our letters start to um, intersect with each other. Most of these are pretty open spaces and open loops. So if I went ahead and sent this to my Cameo, it would cut easily, be pretty simple to weed, not a huge headache. But look over here where my P and my B intersect with each other. Do you see this tiny space right there? That's actually going to make a cut. 
Now, it's not a big deal, but it could possibly affect your final result, like once you go to heat press or make some changes on this. So I want to show you what I do whenever I use this monogram. I'm going to right click on the monogram and then select release compound path. Okay, so what this does is it makes everything in this monogram editable. So I'm going to click off of the image and then I'm going to select that teeny tiny little space and I'm just going to click delete and it's going to disappear. So now whenever I send that to my final cut, it's gone. It's not going to make that cut and it leaves everything else intact. And you can do that with these other places as well if you wanted to. You can delete and make this like a fuller design. But just go ahead and play around with it, make it your own. You might not have any little spaces in your letters. There are sometimes I delete lots of those little spaces depending on what letters they are. But on this one, I think that's the only tiny stuff I want to deal with. So, all right, so now we can reselect your monogram, make sure it's all highlighted, and then you want to make it a compound path once again. Now just to see what my final design is going to look like, I'm going to come over here and fill in my monogram, change my line color to see what the final result is going to look like. So now let's check our sizing. You can play around with this depending on the t-shirt that you are going to be working with. Right now, mine's measuring a little over 10 inches in width and a little over 7 inches high. I want to keep mine closer to 10 inches. I know it's not that big of a deal. I'm just going to squeeze it in some. Adjust the settings a little. All right, and we are ready to go. It's time to start cutting. Now, this is heat transfer material that I'm going to be using. So before I cut, I need to make sure it's flipped. So we're going to select everything on the screen, right click, and flip horizontally. Because whenever you cut heat transfer vinyl, you're going to cut with that vinyl facing with the shiny side down, and you're actually cutting on the back of the material. I'm going to move this to the edge so that I'm not wasting some space. And it's okay. You see my P is starting to go outside of my red border. That's totally fine right now because we're not even going to cut the monogram yet. By that, I mean we're going to come over to our cut settings. Anything that's highlighted in red means that it's going to cut this first round. I don't want to cut the blue because I'm only cutting the red at first. So select your monogram. And over here in your cut settings menu, select no cut. And that just leaves my red lines here. So you would scroll down in your material type. I'm going to use a heat transfer smooth material. And then check your blade settings. I like to use two. I find some people have different preferences on this. It really depends on your machine. If you want to feel safer, go ahead and do um, a test cut to make sure it's going to cut smoothly and cut through all the way. And then you would send it to your silhouette. Once everything is through cutting on your red, go ahead and load your blue. Let me scroll back up to my cut settings. Now this time, we don't need the red. So we want to select all of our stripes. You can see the cut option is highlighted, but this time we don't want to cut, so select no cut. And right now nothing is highlighted in red, so let's select. I like to keep the image um, in order in case I need to come back and do any other changes. I don't want to have it any different if I need to recut something. So I'm going to bring my monogram over to the edge. I'm not wasting any vinyl. Click on the monogram, select cut, and then again, heat transfer material. It's a smooth material. Speed on two, thickness on four, and go ahead and cut your design.
All right. Thanks again for joining me. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Don't forget to leave a like and be sure to subscribe so you can join me for the final Daniel Stars and Stripes. Slightly more complicated than the first two, but we are going to cover a lot and we'll have a great time creating a fun design.